What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Dr. D-Dub here and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. I'm still making more conical flasks and advanced conical flasks, which I've currently stopped making those, so I guess I'm not currently making them, but whatever. Uh, I want to leave this furnace open because today we're going to get some marble, I think, I hope, and get it automated with a zombie and start getting a fresh supply of marble brought here, so that way we can start crafting some gravestones. Um, we have... Actually, just kidding. We don't have the ability to make marble gravestones yet. Um, it won't happen right away. But it's something we can work towards, potentially, after we spend another 300 blue points. Then we can start getting the marble grave fences, which is the, the best kind of marble grave fence. Or maybe I'll start with... Well, that's still 150 blue points away. Regardless... Um, I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll eventually spend stuff down here, but first we need to build. Wow, we need to be able to harvest. Hold on, sulfur pyrite. Is that going to be useful? I might get that if I have some excess blue points later. I don't know. Scent of gold. You're a true miner. You can find precious metals and ores more often. Still a matter of luck and energy. And then we can also find gems, which sounds awesome. And then diamonds are our best friend. Is that a thing? Also, you know how to make really nice jewelry. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself, like I just said. We need marble quarrying. So we can unlock that. And then in addition to that, we also need zombie quarrying too, which allows us to get the marble quarry up and running, which is gonna be awesome. But in order to make a marble quarry or a the station for them to mine at, we need to take some flitch and I don't exactly know how many it is, but it's flitch and nails, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to make an excess of both of those. Wow, we have like nothing. I don't know why that's in there. I need to make more things. Oh, and then I'm also going to grab some complex parts, some simple iron parts. We need to make a lot more things. Basically, uh, wait, I had five. I need eight. So we're going to be doing both of these. That's the last of our iron. Good thing we have a free furnace, because I need to smelt some. <laughs> oh, and I probably should have checked, too. When we craft the zombie quarry, like the little station to put the zombie at, it takes a pick, though I don't know if the quality of said pick matters. We might be doing an iron pick, just because it's cheaper and easier. And I don't even... Or we might just do one of these, because I don't feel like waiting for the bars. You know what? We'll have some semblance of patience, I guess. We still do have to go do our ceremony. So we can do that first. But then I need to make some more nails. Yeah, we gotta wait for this iron anyway. And I want to get some more simple iron parts. With eight simple iron and eight complex iron parts, we should have the parts, no pun intended, needed to add another two wall candelabras in the church. And I'm so glad I'm just now thinking of wall candelabras. Because what do you put in a wall candelabra? A candle. And what have I been forgetting to put? Oh, I didn't have room for that last time. In my candelabras, the past several times, I've done sermons. Candles. That's right. You guessed it. How'd you know? Um, so we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to do eight and see what happens. There might be a max of how many you can add that's actually useful. But we're gonna find out with... Oh, this just looks cool. I should do this more often just for the look of it. It's it's awesome. And then we can do our... Oh, church quality 51. I am curious what this does. Our church is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone knows. Oh, boy. Okay, so we already got two. So that's 10... Did I see a meh? No, that was a nice and an okay. Oh, 16? That's not bad. Especially for my reasoning of making candles is not to get more faith. It's to get blue points in a not quite passive manner. I'm loving our creation of all the flasks and stuff. It's super easy. All I have to do is get water, which is done from the well, which is easy to get, and then go get some river sand. And then that turns into blue points along with some coal. All of which are renewable resources. 
which is super easy. Then again, I don't think there's any finite resources in this game. There might be. I'm just not thinking of them right now. Can we make more candles? We're missing beeswax. I thought we had one in a chest nearby. So we'll have to go get some more beeswax. And then the white paint. What was used to make that again? It was bones, I think. And then... Ooh, I forget. I moved all my stations. Um, so that'd be up here, actually, right? And one of these. Uh, speed potion. I love how it shows you once you've made it once what it is. So white powder and oil. And then, what is it? One fat gives us ten oil? Or is it ten fat gives us five oil? That sounds like a more frustrating ratio. And I remember being slightly frustrated by said ratio, so that would make more sense. Anyway, hopefully I've killed enough time that some of our iron has uh, gotten in bar form. That's a weird way of saying that. But yeah, once we get those iron bars, we're going to convert some of them to nails, some of them to... Actually, do we straight up need iron ingots for... You know what? Let me get some more going, just to be safe. I won't make too many. Wow, we have no... We have no nothing. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. No nothing. Let's do 15. It'll process in five, but we'll get several each time. Okay, but what did I say? We need two more complex iron parts. And then, yeah, we're going to need a lot more stuff. Um, simple iron parts. I know we need at least one more. And then we're waiting again for iron. It's unfortunate. I should have prepared a little more. And of course... Wait, did I not need to... How do I have 13? I thought... I totally made more than I needed. I only need 8. And we just made... I could have saved that. Made the simple iron and then the nails. I, uh, so whatever. We, we'll be fine. And then I don't know how many flitch I need. I think it was 8. So I'm going to do at least 18. In case we can make 2 of them. At once. Which also means I need to take two picks. I know we only have the one zombie right now to set up at the mine, but there's a place to put a zombie for uh, stone and then another place for a zombie for marble. So that's kind of my plan. Uh, yeah, then we need an iron ingot for a pick. So we need two iron ingots, an additional six simple iron parts. So we're going to wait for a little bit. You know what? I It's night. And I have little energy, so let's just sleep through this. That sounds like a much better idea. Plus time passes while we sleep, so the iron ingots should hopefully... Uh, hopefully we can get like six, maybe? That'd be nice. I would like that very much. Please time have passed enough that I can get some iron ingots. No. Dang. Are we close? We're kind of close. That only did like one and a little bit of a second one. Anyway, let's make our two picks and then we can just get an easy number for how many more uh, simple iron parts we need to get the wall candle operas. Simple iron parts and then so that's five, that's six. We need two more simple iron parts and I don't know how many more nails. I'm going to guess 16. So that's at least a couple more bars. Good thing they're almost done. So I can kill some time doing other things. Like collecting our glass and our blue points. Which I love so very much. But, oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, this also takes nails, doesn't it? Crap. We can make some crates. And specifically, we can make three box of goods. I need more nails and I need more flitch. I can make one, and I'll do that right now, because I can. And then there's a bar right there. We can make some more nails. Perfect. And then... Come make some more nails. Did I need more simple iron parts? I did, right? I have six. Yes. So we'll do one more for simple iron parts. And two more things of nails. Oh, and speaking of nails, I've been wanting this perk for a long time. It just seems useful. Inborn Blacksmith. It's 30 blue points. And when the work is done, you always manage to find time to make extra nails. That seems useful, especially if we're going to be... I know it's a quality of life thing, and I don't really need it right now, so I might hold off a little bit. But over time, you know, we're going to need a lot 
of crates made, and each one takes two nails. So, I mean, it's an investment, but a worthwhile one, I think. Or so I hope. So now we just need one more bar, right? And then we can make... Yeah, because I need at least two more nails. But then we're good on the simple iron parts, or so I think. But we need to make some more flitch now as well. So yeah, let me wait for said bar to be created, or said bars. I'll make up the nails, and then I'll meet you closer to the quarry. And welcome to the quarry, which hasn't really been used at all. We have these three for iron, which I don't think is necessary. <laughs> Until we get a second. Dang it, I should have brought even more, because then we could have had a second. I know we don't have the zombies for this, but I could have at least built the stations up for it. But anyway, if we build a... I might want to add a stone stockpile too. But anyway, zombie stone quarry left and right. Zombie mar marble quarry left and right. We can have six zombies up here. Two for stone, two for marble, two for iron, and then one at the porter station. That is so awesome. And I wonder if the efficiency of a porter, or anyone really, changes just how fast they work. That's what it's got to be, I would imagine. Anyway, let's do the zombie marble quarry left. Ta-da! Oh, we have to go build it. And so they can be friends and talk right next to each other. Let's do the stone quarry right. And so they can be buddies and just hang out and talk to each other. That's kind of fun, right? And then we need a stone stockpile. We've got one. Actually, do we need a second? Probably, because our porter is now going to be schlepping goods from both stations. Oh, that's cool. He just kind of waits there until he's needed. That's awesome. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, wait. This is already happening? What? I don't have to build these? It just kind of happens? Do I have to... I would imagine I'd still have to... Ah! So it's like a sheltered area for them or an enclosed space that they mine in. That's cool. So now we've got someone on marble and then someone on iron and coal. I keep forgetting that coal's getting deposited. I should go check and see if I have... That's where I got that 50 coal from. I was going to say, I thought I just used all the coal in last episode. I thought, at least, and I hadn't mined any more. Yet we had the coal to fuel our furnace. Awesome. That's so cool. I'm sorry. I'll see myself out. But yeah, now we have some automated 15% efficient... Marble harvesting. That's that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Neat and awesome combined. I love the made up, made up words I use. Um, can we build anything else here? Hold on. I've got the eight and eight. Anything that I'm using nails and flitch. Three flitch is definitely not enough to build anything. So instead, let's just head back. It's a home sweet home. And put away some things. Uh, we should only need eight of these. Don't need the nails and don't need the flitch. We're going to head into the church real quick, though. And add ourselves some wall candle operas. And then I think we need to get our crates over to the merchant. And if I'm not mistaken, this will complete a quest for him. I think. Uh, merchant. I always pass people and then have to go back up. Speaking of which, I'm doing that right now. Merchant, sell seven crates. And I still don't know how to make dinner, but we should be able to make progress on the crates, I hope. Uh, what was I coming down here for? I was going to the church. This is not the church. I did that today a couple times at work, too. I was, like, specifically headed to a certain location to do something particular to that location. And I walked right past it. And then I realized, like, half a second later, I was like, wait a second, where am I going? And then I remembered, oh yes, this is what I'm doing instead. All right, wall count to lobber two. We have two more spots that this can go. One right there and another right there. And that is all the wall candelabras. 
That's so cool. Whoa, what can go right here? I don't know, so many things. I wish you could drag this menu and move around the screen so you could see the placement area without being able to actually craft something. Ooh. Hold on, quick detour before, no, just kidding. We're already right here, we can, this will be faster. Quick mental detour. Now that we have marble coming in, we should be able to get, what was I saying? Sorry, I'm seeing this whole system getting distracted by Dr. Judgment's comment slash rant, if you'll call it that, about how inefficient pushing these was and that I was missing the easier way of doing it, which would be the Porter Station, which I don't know. I should probably push these up and not all the way down because they're impossible to see down here. Like I'm pushing them, but I can't tell I'm pushing them. <laughs> like, it's so weird looking. Well, I totally lost my train of thought. Ah, yes, now that we have automated marble production, we should hopefully be able to craft some polished marble. I know it takes faith to do, but, oh, we're only gonna have room for three of these. I forgot about that. I know it takes faith to do, but we're getting not totally there yet, but we're getting to the point where we don't have to study a ton of stuff still. I mean, there's still plenty we could study, I'm sure, but I feel like I've got some to spare. At least enough for a crate or two per week. Let's go check on how much that costs to make again. I think it was 10 polished marble per crate to make a crate of goods. And I'm thinking it was four, this might be really expensive. I'm thinking it was four faith per, hold on. So a piece of marble takes wood wedges to get the actual marble from. Whereas for stone, it's just the stone. So we need to actually start making wood wedges. Well, look at this. We can study polishing paste. We can study an iron chisel. We can study the wood wedge. Um, a carved piece of stone? Is that what I was looking at? No, polished marble? Do we not have the ability to make that yet? It was polished marble, right? Yes, a polished brick of marble. Maybe we haven't unlocked that yet. I don't think we have actually. Uh, Yes, the art of stone, a polished brick of marble. It's another 50 blue points, which really is the only limiting factor right now in our progression. Seeing as how we have 2,400 red points and 8,600 green, I think we'll be okay with pretty much everything with the exception of blue points. Also, I need to learn how to make some zombie juice. Harvey, if you're out there and, and you want another riddle to come up with, uh, I, I welcome the riddle of the zombie juice because I could have sworn when we met, uh, what was his name? The dude chained up down here. Actually, is he still there? Can we go talk to him again? I don't know, but when we met the zombie and learned how to make things, we got three ju three zombie juice from it. But I thought he also gave us the recipe for zombie juice. Am I mistaken? Tell me about the resurrection ingredients. Is this it right here? Dust. Okay, so here's our riddle. <laughs> Thanks, Harvey. Appreciate it. The first is some kind of powder. I don't remember exactly which one. Chocolate. The second ingredient is blood. So powder and blood. So it's made at the first tier alchemy station, alchemy workbench. You know what? If we can make this right now, that's going to be so freaking cool. Get one on wood, one on stone, one on marble, one on iron, and one on farming and maybe one down here, depending on, actually, it's over here, I think. No, both of those are zombie stations, just kidding. 
Uh, okay, so what do we think? Hold on, we've got we've got the blood, right? Oh, and I started storing yeah, 27 blood, sweet. I started storing our goos down here. Cause I didn't really have a better place for them. I don't know. I wish I could add a third and do three right there and not have that little gap, but Okay, so zombie green is kind of zombie color. Health. You know what? We might just go through and try all of these. Just to say we've done it. And then today might be the start of the spreadsheet I've been talking about doing for a while now. So what do we already know? So we know it's not death powder. For sure. 100% not death powder. Other than that, we can just keep guessing. I don't think it's going to be salt, but for the sake of thoroughness, I'm going to try every single one of these and hope we get something out of it. If not, we just get goose and then that's fine. Slowing powder, probably not. And I'm not going to make you guys watch this. This is not going to be exciting. So I'm going to keep going, making these until we find what works. Okay, that didn't take long. Health powder and blood make zombie juice. I kind of want to make another so we can get one on... Yeah, so we can put one on stone. Oh, that's so easy. Why haven't I been doing more of this? Okay, time to uh get some... Where am I going? I need to be going to the morgue. We've got four zombies just kind of hanging out. One of them's kind of crap, so I don't know if I'll turn him. And before anyone freaks out, just a disclaimer, I don't really plan on making these guys or putting a ton of resources into these guys to make them amazing. Before I convert them into zombies, I want to just remove the stuff that I know does something. I'm not going to inject them and make them as good as I possibly can. All right, so we started with... Crap, I should have paid closer attention to that. Did we start with six? I think we started with six, and we just removed a red. Because i got to remember what all this stuff does now that I'm really going to start focusing more on quality of zombies. Bone, I don't believe, does anything. That is correct. And then removing the fat, I believe, removes a red. Please be correct. It replaces it with a white. So now we have a seven white skull body which we shall resurrect into a zombie. And we need 10 faith. So I don't want this guy to spoil. Any of these like stone racks, I'm pretty sure they spoil while on them. Anything that's not stone, or sorry, did I say stone? No, anything that's like wooden, I think they spoil on. I don't know. Regardless, we'll play it safe. We'll go grab our 10 faith. Or, or nine, because we have one on us. Oh, and I wanted to do two of these, didn't I? I kind of do. So let's grab 20. And then we can put one down here and just see what it does. You know, I might have one start processing down uh, maggots. Because we've studied maggots and they get us a lot of stuff. Um, that I don't know what I'm trying to say. We have a crap ton of maggots, is what I'm trying to say. So if I'm going to make a lot of stuff and just guess and check my way through alchemy. I kind of want to start with that because we have a ton and we can just make it happen. All right, so this guy was what, seven hearts? Wish there was a way to check. And then we need another. I know we can only carry one, but I might do the, the lovely little push and shove thing. All right, so that's got four white. That's three white. And no bodies down here. Oh, but we do have this guy, which is just six, six white. You know what? Let's do that. Yeah, let's, let's take this guy. We've already removed what we need to. He's ready to go. And for the sake of time. Yeah. All right. So now, actually, we're only taking one guy to the quarry. So we can put one guy. Ooh. Do I get alchemy automated or do I go do zombie wood cutting? That's happening. You know what? For for science, 
We don't really need stone right now. We have a spot for it to happen. But let's put him here. And now we can craft... Oh, that's cool. And it tells you what's what. That alone right there is useful. Oh, that's so cool. So if I want... I don't have to remember things now. I can just say, hey, I want this. And then it'll make it into that for me. Which is awesome. Life solution. We get two with the brain and one with the maggots. I might relocate my storage of body parts now to somewhere over here so we can take advantage of this. Life extract? Sure. Let's get... Oh, I don't know. All of our maggots? Not all of them. I don't know if they can be used for anything else. Actually, yeah. They 100% can be. Life solution. So let's... And then that's it, right? No maggot use over here. So let's split it right down the middle. Let's do a good 14 on life extract. And can I queue things up? Another 14 of life solution? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Now, the biggest issue that I'm gonna have is where does it go when it's done? We have so many racks down here. I'm gonna assume it does some sort of algorithm top to bottom, left to right. So I'm gonna guess finished products will end up right here. Which is awkward because this is our actual finished product rack, but whatever. Okay, that's awesome. Now I need to go grab some more flitch and some nails and presumably an ax that we need to forge. And then go make a station for wood cutting. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Oh, and that'll force me to move this too. So my plan is to move this station right up here and then add a third timber storage right here, which will be super useful if we're having it automated because then I could do all this other stuff and just passively get wood. Guys, we're becoming so self-reliant by having others do the work for us, which is awesome. Okay, we need flitch, uh, presumably only eight. So I'm just gonna make up one more. Oh, we're so close to being out of wood. Oh, this is awkward. And then can I make an axe real quick before I run out of energy? Aha, I can. And then we needed nails as well, I think. Probably. Seven nails. That should hopefully be enough. I'm going to sleep though first because we do have to build it. And I'm not just going to drink wine through it. And we'll build this at night, which... I was going to say it's so fitting, but it, it I guess it's just a zombie, so time of day doesn't really matter. But zombies and like lore and stuff come out more at night and they get burned during the day, right? So I guess it makes sense building this under the cover of night. Okay, though, where is this again? Uh, forest near the river. There's a giant tree. So we go up, we'll collect our apiary, then we'll go up and build it. Actually, we'll collect that on the way back down because I hate the health bar. Uh-huh. I have to say it every time because it just drives me nuts. Okay. This is going to be exciting. Oh, crap. You know what? We probably need... Oh, yeah. I was doing some stone mining over here. We're probably going to need another porter for this. The porter station is for the quarry, not for the tree. So we might have to go animate another zombie. Which I'm okay with. And we need more. Crap. Um, what is it? 12? Okay. I'll be right back. All right. I have returned. And hello, zombie friend. How's it going? Um, let's build the sawmill. Oh, that looks very strange with them inside. And yes, them. I brought another zombie friend with us. And I have a question for you guys. What's more important? more white skulls when creating a zombie or an absence of red skulls when creating a zombie i had the option this guy that i just made has five white skulls but i could have had a oh my gosh i could have had a six white skull zombie that also had two red skulls 
and I don't know which is better. I went for the five white as opposed to the six white with two red. I don't know if I was correct in doing so, but also this is cool. So now a place for wood logs, it comes with storage. So we put one guy here, that's our more efficient one. I'd rather have our more efficient one cutting. So we'll put you on the tree. Oh, this is so nice. And then we'll put the less efficient one in here to transport wood. Because it doesn't have to go that far. And I'm okay if we get a little bit of a backlog. <laughs> no pun intended. Backlog of wood. Or I guess I should say of logs to, you know, keep that pun going. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I am in love with automation. So now all we need is one more zombie. And we'll get stone automated as well, which we don't really need a lot of right now. I'm not really making a ton of stone stuff. Oh my gosh, so many bats. Oh boy, they're doing all sorts of things. They haven't hit me yet, but I say that and I'm going to get smacked in the face. Or I'm going to outplay them like crazy. Uh-huh, that just happened. The skills. Just kidding, that wasn't that impressive. Anyway. Guys, take a look. I know I'm saying this before we're getting there. Take a look at our marble situation. It's so nice. I also cleared out all of our iron. So we're still getting marble while simultaneously getting iron. It's kind of awkward though because we don't really... Well, I could start breaking this down. We need wood wedges. And that's made at the chopping spot, right? Wood wedges... Make 30 of them real quick. And then we can start breaking that stuff down. I'm not going to. It's just kind of nice to have this on hand and ready to go. And I'm thinking I'll store my wood wedges over here. Just for realism's sake. Or like, to immerse myself in it. I don't know. It makes more sense. You grab them out of here. You take them over. And you drive them through your brick of marble. And you get some tiny little marble pieces. Which we can then put in here. Instead of having to take up all this space. I do still plan on building, and we might be able to do it right now if I have the materials. But if not, I'm not gonna, not gonna worry about it. Uh, stone stockpile. We have enough to build another. So yeah, I'm wanting to do one more, like right here, and not really use much of the rest of this space because we kind of can't. Everything here is massive, so we could do another one down here. But I'm probably not. I'm gonna move my anvil over here. But yeah, stone stockpile right there. And then I don't have the ability to create... Actually, that's Carpenter Workbench 2. That is what we're using. We're moving that. We're going to demolish that. And if I still have enough... Do we have enough for a timber stockpile? We do! All the yard changes. <gasps> Our first log. It's been added. I have to drink wine just to do this, but that's okay. It's so worth it. Oh, that's nice. And we're working in the rain. It adds to the, I don't know, overall ambiance. Oh, that's so cool. And then we'll add one more timber stockpile right here. Oh, this is so cool. And I'm hoping this lines up across with this one. Actually, yes, it should because I had removed it and added it back. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And this will even be helpful when I have to manually farm logs, which I don't know if I'll have to do anymore. I used to fill this one right here, and then I'd go around and just offload them like that, back and forth. And then I was planning on doing the same over here, you know, take them all from here, load them here, and then take them all from here and load them here, and then just fill this one. But now I don't know if I'll have to, because everything's automated and it's amazing. Oh, this is so cool. And then we still need to add... We deleted something that we still need to add again. I don't remember what that was. A sawhorse. We'll do somewhere over here. Move our anvil over. And we'll have a freaking nice looking yard. Look at that. Three empty furnaces too. I'll fix that. Don't you worry. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's episode of automation. We've got marble automated. We've got wood automated, and we've got alchemy 
automated. Or at least somewhat automated. And it's so cool. Can we... If we put a zombie on the other station, can they then craft any recipe that we know how to make? Can I have a zombie process down the stuff to make zombie juice while another zombie creates that zombie juice? I'd pull this guy to check, but I don't want to reset the progress because I'm lazy. That is exactly how that works. And you can do it from both workstations. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can be so lazy now. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, though, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I am so excited right now. I hope you can tell. But I will see you guys next time for more of... Oh, I don't even know. We'll go talk to the merchant next time, though. Because we did complete his quest, and I totally forgot about that, because I got all sucked into the world of automation. But again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, as always, take care.